Megan Trainer makes nursery rhymes for adults. Her music is catchy, in the same way Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is catchy. If you're 10 years old or older and enjoy her music, you should get a juice box and take a nap to complete the experience. She sucks. Edit I literally bought a pack of high C flash and fruit punch juice boxes the other day, and I think naps are the tits. I did not mean to disparage those things, so please shut up about it. If I don't listen to her music, can I still get that juice box and nap? Nothing against her, I haven't consciously heard her stuff. I mean Pharrell's happy is just basically if you're happy and you know it clap your hands. This is nothing new for pop music. True but no one says she makes very deep adult music. Most pop music is like that. Repetitive, catchy, harmonically simple, etc. It's all formulaic with some exceptions. Love that the comment section is anti-knowing who this is and pro-nap and juice box. Brew this dude shit talking twinkle twinkle little star. Her music isn't meant to be anything more than catchy, radio-friendly filler and I'm not saying that as a negative. Juice box and a nap sounds awesome. She had a song in that Cheryl Brown move I thought was nice. It was like a uplifty dance song for everyone IDK. Catch and fun. People are too serious a lot of the time. Relax. She married Junie from Spy Kids, she gets a pass. This isn't unpopular. She makes music for malls that no one visits anymore. Did I just stumble into 2015? Say what you want about the ingratiatingly sweet poppier worms, but girl used to be a songwriter for other people, then someone decided to help her become the role model for all chubby, sassy people. And she can dance. Also she makes in one song enough money to last me several lifetimes. Are you unaware of what pop music is? It's supposed to be simple and catchy. Go on then OP, hit us with your amazing music taste. So do all pop stars, why is she singled out here? Assuming this is true, why is this a bad thing? I definitely could use a juice box and a nap every now and then. It's true, but the child in me actually enjoys it lmao. I'm just starting my day and should get to work, but how do I get in on this juice box and nap thing? I'll just always remember her for making a song and a video about loving large bodies and the only fat person in the video was a man. LOL. Read it when people enjoy something. I didn't know we were supposed to worship her like the second coming of Michael Jackson. The first time I saw her was on a TV at the gym. There was no sound so I just saw dancing, and I thought it was a parody, like maybe SNL making fun of Britney. Some time later, I saw her again and heard the music. I still can't believe it's not a parody. This is the best description of her music yet. I was thinking about her music the other day and it annoys me that it's oddly catchy but in a bad way, like Barbie Girl. Her music is weirdly old-fashioned and toyish in a certain way. It's like her music is for toy commercials, like bright colorful jingles that have somehow gotten wide play. She's fine and I like her, but her music is fucking weird. Sounds like OP needs a juice box and a nap. What's wrong with a delicious juice box and a refreshing nap? I bet you think you're so mature with your disgusting coffee and ghastly haggard sleep-deprived look. Her music is garbage man. Have you heard that new song Mother It's So Bad I Wanna Rip Off My Ears? She is on my shit list after she made a song called All About That Bass yet there is a severe lack of bass being played throughout the song. Also the line I'm bringing booty back was such a stupid lyric. Booty never left. I don't think this is a popular or unpopular opinion. I think it's just an opinion. She's the MLM boss babe anthem maker from the 2010s. OP just described all of pop music in history. She makes earworms that make me want to blast my brains out. I hate her vapidly listing luxury brands like her owning them gives her any value as a human being to an uninspiring melody that.
does nothing except get stuck in your head and torment you for days. Fuck. That one song she made is my least favorite of all time. A few weeks ago someone said she was the Amy Schumer of pop music paraphrasing, and it was magnificent. I saw someone say she's stuck in 2014 and I can't get that out of my head. Nothing says shallow more than I can get my Gucci on. Her voice gets on my last nerve. LOL the 12-year-old in me loves some of her songs rolling on the floor laughing face with tears of joy. Can I have the juice box and the nap even if I don't listen to her? To add to the legitimacy of this opinion, you can literally sing Alice the Camel over all about that bass. This isn't an unpopular opinion LMAO I've yet to meet a single Megan Trainer fan. LMAO this is so true. IMO it's not as bad as some other stuff out today, but it's not my jam for sure. And you're right, her songs sound like dance versions of the Sesame Street songs because of the incessant rhyming. Who is that I'm your mother one for exactly? Like is she telling a grown man that she's his mom? Yeah this is totally an unpopular opinion that I love. She gives me the ick. I rather fall asleep listening to Lana Del Rey though lol. Is that why I hate her music? Grimacing face. Definitely want that nap, though. Hard pass on the high C. Her music is truly awful. I very much dislike both Megan Trainer and her music. I swear she had a song where she sang the words Fortnite Battle Pass. Shit killed me. I think the correct term is, pile of feces. I say something similar about Nick Jonas's solo career. All of his music seemed like elevator music. And while we are at it, One Direction was much better before each individual started going in their own direction. The fact that Harry Styles' one album of the year kind of makes Grammys a joke now. I didn't realize she still existed after that one song in 2014. No is the only song by her that I genuinely like. It's also the only song of hers I've ever listened to. I am your mother. That's kind of a major part of the last 60 years of pop music. That's corporate friendly sweatshop pop for you. Rap music falls in the territory of nursery rhymes for adults too. Everyone thinks this. Kinda like all music is supposed to be catchy? I don't get it. Do you just listen to Beethoven all day? Upvoted though unpopular. Why do people that post on this sub think about Megan Trainer so much? Taylor Swift I understand, but Megan Trainer? Regardless of how her music sounds, I can't stand her. She has this idea that the solution to fat phobia is to body shame skinny people instead. Like gee Megan I'm on a feeding tube and malnourished and possibly dying, sorry I don't have enough base to be acceptable. Also, she's teamed up with the Kardashian clan. Which obviously presents some moral dilemmas. A nap and a juice box sounds fucking great. I'm not sure a lot of adults are listening to Megan Trainer. Definitely more of a teen artist's, right? I've never really listened to her music except for little clips that are in those top whatever compilation videos. But I would like a nap and a juice box please. Megan Trainer is the Emily in Paris of music. Anyway stream did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard by Lana Del Rey? Megan Trainer still makes music? Megan Trainer's music is just shitty background music, let's be real. Her music is awful idk how she keeps making records. You should get a juice box and take a nap to complete the experience. This made me cackle, I'm stealing this. She's getting that bag though. What Jay find really disturbing about her music is that she claims to be about empowering women, but she not, she about subjugating and belittling men. Her music is really really fucked up. Yes, her music sounds like she's doing it because it's her job, and not because she likes music. I doubt that she even likes her own songs.